is a list of 19 of the most notorious haunted houses in New York. Number 1. The Amityville Horror House Allegedly haunted by the spirits of the DeFeo family who were brutally murdered in 1974, the Amityville Horror House in Amityville, New York became infamous in 1977 when a book called The Amityville Horror, A True Story was published by author J. Anson. The novel tells the allegedly true story of George and Kathy Lutz, who move into the house in 1975, shortly after the DeFeo murders. The family begins to experience extremely violent poltergeist activity and voices screaming to get out. The family also experiences a dark, evil presence and eventually is forced to move away. Although the story of the Amityville Horror is one of the most well-known ghost stories in the world, families who have lived in the house after the events in the novel have not reported experiencing any paranormal activity and many believe that the entire story is all a hoax. In 1979, a movie called The Amityville Horror was released based on the novel, which secured the Amityville Horror House as one of the most infamous and legendary haunted locations in the United States. Number 2. Burn Bray Mansion Constructed in 1908 by the Mackenzie family, Burn Bray Mansion in Glen Spey, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirits of many of its former owners and occupants. Guests staying overnight at the mansion report witnessing apparitions and shadow figures, as well as experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena, such as cold spots, hearing disembodied voices and strange sounds, and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 3 Creekside Apartments at Madison Barracks Established in 1813 as an army barracks, the Creekside Apartments at Madison Barracks in Sackets Harbor, New York, are built over a former battlefield from the War of 1812. The apartments are said to be haunted by the spirits of a number of former American soldiers who appear to stand guard over the building and its residents. Locals also report spotting the apparition of a man holding a lantern who appears on one of the building's balconies late at night, as well as hearing the faint sounds of soldiers screaming and cannons or muskets being fired in the distance. Number 4. David Conklin Farmhouse Constructed in 1750, the David Conklin Farmhouse in Huntington, New York is said to be haunted by the spirits of several former members of the Conklin family. Visitors at the old house report witnessing apparitions as well as hearing disembodied footsteps and voices. 
Other guests report feeling sudden cold spots while also feeling the presence of an unseen entity. Number 5 Farnham Mansion Constructed in 1862, Farnham Mansion in Onanda, New York is said to be haunted by the spirit of its original owner, Stephen Farnham, and his wife, Elizabeth, his son, Fred, and his daughter, Sarah, all of whom passed away in the house. Their spirits are often seen by visitors, as well as other unidentified apparitions and shadow figures. Previous owners of the house have also reported experiencing paranormal activity, such as cold spots, disembodied voices, and lights turning on and off by themselves. Many visitors to the location also report feeling the presence of an unseen entity or feelings of being watched. The Farnham Mansion was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1983, and according to historical records, a total of eight former residents have passed away inside the mansion since its construction. Number 6 Hazel Towers Hazel Towers is an 18-story apartment building located in the Pelham Bay neighborhood of the Bronx, New York. Residents at Hazel Towers report witnessing orbs and shadow figures, as well as experiencing other paranormal phenomena such as cold spots, disembodied voices, objects moving by themselves, and unexplained feelings of sadness and paranoia that subside upon leaving the location. Although many claim to witness spirits and apparitions at Hazel Towers, the reason for their presence is unknown. Number 7 Historic Cherry Hill Manor Cherry Hill Manor in Albany, New York was constructed in 1787 by Philip and Maria Van Rensselaer. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of a female resident who was murdered in 1827 as well as several other unidentified apparitions. Visitors touring the manor report experiencing heavy wooden doors opening by themselves, as well as other objects which appear to be moved by an unseen entity. On one occasion, while a tour guide was being asked about the murder that had occurred at Cherry Hill, a large wooden door slammed shut unexpectedly, frightening the guide and several tourists. Another young girl who was touring Cherry Hill Manor on a class field trip reported hearing an eerie, disembodied woman's voice singing, which employees and classmates also heard. Number 8 Home of Franklin D. Roosevelt National Historic Site Constructed in the early 1800s, the home of Franklin D. Roosevelt National Historic Site in Hyde Park, New York, is also referred to as Springwood Estate, or sometimes simply as the Roosevelt Mansion. 
visitors claim to witness the spirit of a woman named Sarah, whose apparition is seen wearing a long dress, as well as the spirit of an unidentified child. Others report feeling mysterious cold spots or drops in temperature, as well as experiencing unexplained feelings of sadness that subside upon leaving the location. Security guards working late at night have also reported capturing the images of foggy apparitions on security cameras as well as experiencing alarms on the property being triggered without explanation when the building is empty. Number 9. Hoyt Mansion. Constructed in 1855 for a wealthy businessman named Liddig Monson Hoyt, the Hoyt Mansion in Strasburg, New York, sometimes referred to as The Point, is said to be haunted by the spirits of several of its former residents. Paranormal investigators at the mansion report witnessing apparitions as well as feeling cold spots and experiencing feelings of being watched by an unseen entity. The reason for these apparitions is uncertain, however one popular urban legend claims that the Hoyt family were a group of wealthy, eclectic outcasts who one by one all committed suicide. The mansion has been abandoned since 1963 when it was purchased by the state of New York. Number 10. The Jane McRae House. The Jane McRae House in Fort Edward, New York is said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Jane McRae, who was killed by Native American warriors in July of 1777. According to historians, Jane McRae was engaged to a British soldier when fighting broke out in the fort. When Jane attempted to flee, she was captured and later scalped after a failed ransom negotiation with British troops. Ever since, her spirit is said to haunt the Jane McRae house, and residents report experiencing strange paranormal phenomena, such as apparitions, disembodied voices, footsteps, and lights turning on and off by themselves. Number 11. Christger Mansion. Constructed in 1885, the Christger Mansion in Staten Island, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a man named Edward Christger, who committed suicide in June of 1894. In 2005, a man named Robert McKelvey was stabbed repeatedly and drowned in a small pool at the house. His apparition is said to haunt the property, along with the spirit of an unknown woman who many suspect was a former resident. Number 12. Loudon Cottage. On April 16, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated at the Ford Theater in Washington, D.C. Sitting next to him was a woman in a white dress named Clara Harris, 
whose dress became covered in blood from the gunshot wound that ended the president's life. According to legend, Clara brought the dress back to her home in Loudonville, New York, where she had a special closet built to preserve it. Ever since, residents at Loudon Cottage have reported witnessing the apparition of Abraham Lincoln, who appears on rare occasions before mysteriously vanishing. It's said that after the president's death, Clara Harris sealed the blood-stained dress in the closet and it still remains hidden away in the house somewhere. Loudon Cottage is a private residence and is not open to the public. Number 13. The Morris Jumel Mansion. Constructed in 1765 by a British military officer named Colonel Roger Morris, the Morris Jumel Mansion in Manhattan, New York, is sometimes also referred to as Mount Morris. It served as a military headquarters for British and later for American troops during the American Revolutionary War and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1961. The mansion is said to be haunted by the spirits of several of its former owners and occupants, including the spirit of a young woman named Elizabeth Jumel, whose apparition is allegedly seen by employees and guests. Guests at the mansion have also reported witnessing the spirits of former American soldiers wearing Revolutionary War-era uniforms, and the third floor of the mansion is said to be haunted by the spirit of a former maid who died of a heart attack. Number 14. Oneida Community Mansion House Constructed in 1862, the Oneida Community Mansion House in Oneida, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a young man named Eric Kinsley, who committed suicide in the basement at the age of 16. Visitors also report witnessing the apparitions of former residents and hearing disembodied voices and knocking sounds throughout the house, as well as experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena, such as cold spots and feeling the presence of an unseen entity. The Oneida Community Mansion House spans over 13 acres and once housed over 300 residents of a religious commune called the Oneida Community. It now serves as a museum and was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1966. Number 15. Skeen Manor. Constructed in 1874 by a man named Colonel Skeen, Skeen Manor in Whitehall, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman whose apparition is seen by guests wearing a long Victorian era gown. The woman is believed by many to be the late wife of Colonel Skeen, who allegedly kept the woman's body in a coffin inside the manor after her death so they would never be apart. 
According to legend, her coffin is still buried or hidden somewhere within the manor. However, these claims are thus far unable to be verified. Skeen Manor was added to the National Register of Historic Places in May of 1974 and offers guided tours to the public. Number 16 Spa Apartments, Inc. Spa Apartments, Inc. in Clifton Springs, New York, was constructed in 1892 as Clifton Springs Sanitarium. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of a former doctor named Henry Foster, as well as the spirits of former tuberculosis patients that died painful deaths while being treated with experimental medical technology and procedures. In addition to witnessing shadow figures and apparitions, residents at spa apartments report experiencing other paranormal phenomena, such as disembodied voices, cold spots, sudden drops in temperature, and doors opening or closing by themselves. Number 17. The Conference House. Also referred to as Billups Point or the Billup Home, the Conference House in Staten Island, New York, was built in the mid-1600s by a British Royal Navy officer named Captain Christopher Billup and now serves as a museum. It is said to be haunted by the spirits of several Revolutionary War era soldiers, as well as the spirit of a servant woman who was killed after it was discovered that she was spying for the American army. Visitors at the location report witnessing apparitions as well as hearing the sounds of disembodied screams and thuds late at night. The conference house and museum was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1966. Number 18. Van Horn Mansion The Van Horn Mansion in Burt, New York was constructed in 1823 by Judge James Van Horn. It is said to be haunted by Mr. Van Horn's late wife, Melinda, who passed away in 1836 and whose body is buried beneath a headstone in a small rose garden on the southern edge of the property. Visitors often report encountering Melinda's restless spirit at night, as well as witnessing other unknown apparitions and shadow figures. Residents of the Van Horn Mansion have reported witnessing shadow figures in the attic area where the attic door is also seen being opened and slammed shut by an unseen entity. Others report feeling cold spots or seeing lights flickering, and passers-by sometimes report seeing spectral figures reflected in the windows when the building is vacant. The Van Horn Mansion was added to the National Register of Historic Places in September of 1991. Number 19. Western House Apartments. 
constructed in the late 1800s as a hotel, the Western House Apartments in Springville, New York, are said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman named Christine, who owned the building until her death in 1939. Residents living in the apartments report witnessing apparitions as well as hearing disembodied voices, laughter, and footsteps. Others report experiencing a variety of strange paranormal phenomena, such as lights or other electronic devices turning on and off by themselves, and doors being opened and closed by an unseen entity. That concludes my list of 19 notorious haunted houses in New York. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more creepy videos and other content. To see my full list of folklore tales and haunted locations in New York, check out the link in the description and be sure to check out my new book, The Folklore and Haunted Locations Guide, New York, available now on Amazon. And if you visited one of these locations, I'd love to hear your stories in the comments. To check out more of my creepy videos, click the thumbnails shown on the screen.